Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So I'm going to do some work on the 6 meter 3CX 6000 A7 amplifier, mono band amp. So I'm going to show a slick way of making a high current filament choke. Doing this for years. I've uh, made them with these and with the uh, Type 43 rods. I used to have a ton of them. I had a surplus of enamel wire too, so I used to make them with these too. I still do here and there. Uh, they're not for sale, so please don't ask. I have, these are Type 43 also. I literally have, I have over 100,000 of these. So if anyone wants to buy little baggies of these, um, I'd be willing to sell these. I have boxes and boxes with uh, like 30 or so bags in each one. So, anyway, so I have to go to Home uh, Depot to buy a piece of heat shrink. But, so basically, you know, I go with the proper gauge wire. This is 4 gauge. It's only going to be like 5 inch, 4, uh, about 5, 6 inches or so. And um, I went with double insulated, super flexible. So, um, I wanted the tightest fit possible within the core. So, I'm going to use my hydro hydraulic crimper to put the connections on. I have to cut it to length on this side, and I'll put heat shrink over the connectors also. I have that heat shrink, but I need a big piece of heat shrink to go over all the cores to keep them nice and tight next to each other and uh, so I'll crimp these on and also solder them the insulation will come back a little bit but that will be covered with the uh, with the heat shrink so you don't see it and I use my little mini torch for that so I'm gonna get to work I'll be back when I have a finished product to show you so depending on the band, I'll go over all this in the end when I talk about all of the ratings for everything, all of the components and how you figure out how many of these you need based on the frequency you're on. So slick way. Okay, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, the connectors have been installed. They're soldered real nice, crimped soldered. So I'll put heat shrink over these. I will temporarily slip them over, bring it over to the amplifier, and check the length and cut it. Put these connectors on, crimp, solder. I didn't have to use my torch. Ended up using a big soldering iron. So once again, I will be heat shrinking it. And uh, that'll be it. I don't just crimp. I always like to crimp and solder. So the insulation didn't come back. Didn't, uh, didn't melt backwards, so good stuff. Double insulated wire, good stuff. High strand. Okay, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. The limit choke has been installed. So we got the 5 16th bolt ring terminals. And got some grade 8 bolts so I could tighten it down really well. I had to take the whole socket apart so I could drill the hole and put the bolt through. There's enough clearance down there on the head of the bolt between that and the the other side of the filament. He chunked the cores together, put some silicone. I mean, this was like rock solid in place because the wire is like pushing it down, but I put some silicone between just to give it some extra support. So I have to get internal tooth crush washers for these two 5 16th nuts. But it's a Saturday. I just wanted to get a little done on this. I'm waiting on a couple things actually um, I'll be here later today so I'm gonna get to work more I'm gonna do more work to this this week so these leads come off the end they come out of the they're, they're soldered in with the ring terminals on this side they're gonna go to a terminal strip over here and I will have 0.01 caps to the ground and I have to rectify the voltage on the filament I'll explain that later. That's for something else. So, that's what it looks like. 
nice and clean. So I have a lot of room over here. Everything's laid out really nice. So the input circuit's going to go right here. And uh, leaves me a lot of room. So, thanks for watching. My phone number is 203-892-4119. I wanted to make a note. This is Teflon wire, silver, silver plated, stranded. The gauge is thicker than I need it. Uh, but uh, I'll also be monitoring the filament voltage. I'm going to do the calculation and see what kind of drop I have between here and here. I might just pick up on the voltage from over here. I got those terminal strips I have to install. They are upstairs. They they accept a um, like a digital voltmeter probe. They plug right in, so and they stay plugged in until you remove them. They're like a really small female banana jack. I actually couldn't find the ones I had, so I purchased new ones <laughs> online. That happens sometimes. So, all right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Once again, ampreparegui.com, 203-892-4119. 203-892-4119. Take care.